They are the two-time defending ECAC hockey champions. And tonight, Union College is positioned to make it three in a row. But the number two team in the country will have to beat Colgate to win another White Law Cup. The Raiders rally to tie and then beat Quinnipiac in double overtime to earn a spot in the title game for the first time in 24 years. The Dutchman and Raiders play for a championship in Lake Placid, now on Fox College Sports. From 1980 rink, Herb Brooks Arena in Lake Placid, New York, we welcome you to the 2014 ECAC Hockey Championship. It's championship night. The Colgate Raiders and the Union Dutchman set to meet here in Lake Placid. The top two teams in this field in the ECAC tournament have made it here to the final. Union with a victory over Cornell Friday night and Colgate in double overtime with a victory over Quinnipiac. Great to have you back here with us in Lake Placid. Alongside Cap Raider, I am Eric Freed. Well, you have a union team, Cap, that's very familiar with where they are right now back in the championship game. And a Colgate team just trying to ride the emotional wave here to the title game. And they should r run the uh, emotions and high and run with it because uh, hockey's an emotional game and the adrenaline Take it and go with it. Let's take you back to that celebration last night in double overtime. Opening minute of that second overtime, and Colgate got the win. The shot from Kyle Bond, the rebound was put in by Tyson Spink, and the celebration was on. In the first minute of that second OT, it was a win for the Raiders into the title game for the first time since 1990. But they would not have been in that position to celebrate were it not for the play of their freshman goaltender, Charlie Finn. Finn was just outstanding. He stopped three out of four breakaways. That one on Jones was late in the game. And this one's an overtime against the other Jones with through a screen. I mean, timely quality saves. Very square, great composure. He kept his team in the game, and that's all you can ask. And the freshman will be playing in the biggest game of his young Colgate career, taking on a team that has been the chalk of the ECAC the last couple of years. Union getting here with a victory over Cornell. 5-2 was the final. Talking to Rick Bennett today, it wasn't a perfect game for Union, no. but that just shows you how good they are. They still beat a great team like Cornell by three. Well, they're so well balanced. They're disciplined and they're consistent in their play. They got goals from every line, and uh, that one right there, Ikola, is not a goal scorer, but that's the way you win championships. Everybody contributes. They play a strong two-way game, and, and that's what's got them here. And again, they're consistent in their execution. They have won seven games in a row. They are unbeaten in their last 12. 5-2 was the final for Union over Cornell. And in this title game here tonight, they are being led by the co-player of the year in the ECAC. It's the talented defenseman Shane Gostisbehere. Well, Gostisbehere, I mean, he exemplifies what I'm talking about. Plays strong defensively. He's mobile. He jumps into play. He's got eight goals on the air. He quarterbacks the power play. He can do it all. And he's a game changer. When you're a coach, and you're gonna win championships. You've gotta have one or two players that are game changers, and Shane is one of those. The White Law Cup is in the building. Will Union bring it back home to Schenectady, or will Colgate take it back to Hamilton? It's the ECAC Hockey Championship game. The puck drops next. Great atmosphere here in Lake Placid. As you can imagine, a big crowd turning out. Not too far to come up here to Lake Placid from Schenectady and Hamilton and all points in between to get together for this matchup between Colgate and Union. And in gold, Cap just mentioned Charlie Finn. How good was he last night? How good has he been all season long? In conference play, he was 11-3-3. His goals against average cap in the last six games, 1.5, playing his best hockey here at the end of the year. And he'll face, at the other end of the ice, Colin Stevens, the Ken Dryden Goaltender of the Year Award winner in the ECAC, had 24 saves in the victory against Cornell. And some of those saves that Stevens made last night when Union was up 2-1. He made three or four big stops to keep Union in the lead. So Stevens played a great game last night also. We are ready for the championship game here in Lake Placid. Chip McDonald, Robert St. Lawrence, our referees, our linesmen Jim Briggs and David Brown. Colgate, the visiting team, in their road maroon with the white trim. Union. 
the regular season champions in their home white with the garnet trim. And we are underway here in Lake Placid. Off the draw, here comes Colgate trying to push it up quickly. Colgate zone. Gosses Bear keeps it right on the blue line for the Dutchman. Puck deflected in front. Follow up score! The Dutchman break through. It's 1 0 Union in the second. Well, that all started with a Colgate turnover about six feet inside the blue line. And Colgate just couldn't regroup. A big time goal. I think Hatch put it in. And uh, it all starts with the turnover. Right here, watch this. Turnover, oh, you don't do that right there. His hatch, give, go. Shot on net by Sullivan. Comes back out, lost his bear. Throw it to the net, here's the rebound. And hatch is right there. But it all starts with blue line turnovers. And that's devastating for Colgate. I gotta tell you, they've played a heck of a game so far at the halfway point. And to give up that goal on a turnover, let's see how they respond. Pushes now, you can start to see Union close gaps. And they're not on their heels anymore. They're on their toes and they're going forward. This is a, this is a turning point in the game right here, especially for Colgate. This, this would be a huge kill. They gotta stay within reach. Colgate has killed off 50 of the last 53 opponent power plays. Huge spot here. Shot coming. Score! 2 0 Union. Power play goal. And it's Daniel Carr who does it again. Well, it's Union's leading scorer. We talked about him in the opening yesterday. He is just a big game player. Nice little movement. One or two passes, one timer from Carr, beats Finn. That's a momentum. It's all Union right now. You can feel it, sense it after the first goal, and they come right back with another one on the power play. It'll be interesting here if Donnie Vaughn takes a timeout. Number 22 on the season for the senior from Alberta, the all-time leading scorer in Union's Division I history. That was a bullet. I mean, he, he connected with that one. That game could have easily gotten away from Colgate, but right now you sense you don't want to fall any further behind to the right. two-time defending champions. Another setup, and another score! Oh, they're dominating down low. Colgate is on the ropes. You can sense it, they're on their heels. Champini gets his 19th, 3-0 Union. Union just keeps coming. That's three quick goals. Dominating down low. Three goals, four minutes and 23 seconds apart. Now the timeout being called by Colgate as we watch it again. Right, Taylor just throws it. They got the low game going. Here's Carr, he comes around. I think he meant to throw that on the net. Champini's right there. I'm not sure that was a pass, but it worked out. But they're just dominating down low. Here's where you can see the fatigue. You can really see it in Colgate's feet and their emotions since that first goal, really. Colgate uses their timeout here to try to Good call. But here is Champini he picks it up because Carr is on the ice. Here comes Carr holding, setting it up in front. Score! Vecchioni from Carr, four nothing Union. Well, there again, Union pressuring pucks all over the ice. They create a turnover. Johnston for Colgate hit the puck at the offensive blue line on his backhand. Somehow Union chips it by him, and they go down the ice on the attack. Vecchioni, he finishes it off. Here it is right here. Coming out of the zone, on the attack. Three on two. Car, car right there. Side of the goaltender better have their back. That's something we've seen. Cross ice pass. Here's a chance, and Colgate's on the board. And it is the captain Blackness. who scores for the Raiders. That's perfect. And it was deflected wide. And now an opportunity for Union to put it away as Novak walks it to the goal. Well, Colgate made a great try at it. They won the draw, they tried, they funneled the puck to the net, Bond was there, missed the net. 
Comes around. Nice play by Union on the other end. The ECAC Tournament Championship will not go to the Raiders for the third year in a row. Union stands atop ECAC hockey. They've won the title again. Not only, Cap Raider, are they the ECAC hockey tournament champions, they'll be a team to watch in the NCAA tournament. No question. No regular season champs, playoff champs, and they're on a roll. And they have a playoff type team. You know, we've seen it. We've seen it last year. We've seen it again this year. They're hard to play against. And the key is for you, they don't beat themselves. You know, and they never seem to panic. But what a great effort by Colgate. You know, let's, let, let's, that first half of that game, Colgate put in a tremendous effort. They just couldn't capitalize. And they had, you know, a couple mistakes and Union did capitalize. Well, that man right there made the difference in that first period. Yes, Collins he did. Stevens coming up with 16 saves. And I think the composure, too, you know, Stevens made the saves and the team kept their composure. But then again, you got to look at experience. You know, Union's been here before. Obviously, this is their third straight championship. And, and, and that says a lot. You know, you know how to handle those situations. You're going to have some ups and downs. You just stay even keeled. And they did just that. They did it yesterday. They did it again today. Great combination of... Veterans like Gossespierre and freshmen like Vecchioni and Ponarelli. And led by the coaching staff, headed by Rick Bennett. But they do a great job. I mean, you know, you, you look at the on-ice production, and, and it's great, but there's so much work that goes into it, not just Rick Bennett as the head coach, but the assistants, the recruiting, the road trips to go you know, sell a school, sell a hockey program. There's so much that goes into it. There's a lot of work, and, and this is the reward right here. And, and again, my hats go off to Colgate. I just love the way Colgate came out of, out of the shoot today. That was impressive. And the hats go on the heads quickly of the Union Why not? <laughs> Dutchman to commemorate the ECAC Hockey Championship as they get ready to be presented the White Law Cup for winning the ECAC Hockey Championship. Here's Sonny with Rick Bennett. Coach Bennett, congratulations. Another trophy, three in a row. How proud are you of your team of this program? Well, it all starts with, you know, with the leadership. I thought Matt Bodie, Dan Carr, Cole Icola, Shane Gossespierre did a phenomenal job this year. And obviously, you know, he kind of, with Colin Stevens in net there, who shut, shut the door tonight, he played great when we needed him to. And I think, I think that was the story of the game. What was the turning point for the team? It seemed like a totally different club that came out in the second and third period. I just, you know, what's important. I, I think in the first period, I did, just wasn't important to us. And then I think uh, just, just kind of, you know, warmed down a little bit. But, I mean, my, my hat's off the Colgate. I thought they played great. Now, you know, you have such a balanced team from your offense, your defense to Stevens. How proud are you of the effort he brought out tonight? I'm just, you know, you're obviously proud of everybody. I don't like to single guys out because it's, you know, a team game. But, you know, hey, he shut the door for us, and that's what we needed. Coach, congratulations. Good luck in the tournament going forward. Thank you very much. Guys, back up to you. Thank you, Sonny. Congratulations to Rick Bennett, his staff, and Union College for winning the ECAC Hockey Championship for the third year in a row. They're the most out.
College, number nine, Daniel Carr. He's the most outstanding player of the tournament, Daniel Carr, who is involved in everything again today. He scored the game's second goal, his 22nd of the season, came on the power play, assisted on the Vecchioni score that put Union on top, 4-0. To the 2014 ECAC Men's Hockey Champions, the Union College Dutchman. Matt Bodie will come out to accept the trophy. Accepting the Scotty M. Whitelaw Cup for the Dutchman, Captain Matt Bodie. Commissioner Steve Hagwell set to present the Whitelaw Cup. After a few smiles, you know what comes next. <laughs> Matt showing great <laughs> patience, he, and he's done this before. Up in the air it goes. And he's been there before with it. <laughs> Please join ECAC Hockey one more time. That's an impressive team, part of an impressive program that Rick Bennett has going now at Schenectady as they'll take turns putting the White Long Cup up in the air. You know, you, you know, you have a. I, I love this comment. He doesn't want to single people out. It's about the team, and and this is truly a team. And they play like a team. It's a team that knows the order of business, though, as the seniors are the ones with the first turn with the White Law Cup. Including the most outstanding player of the tournament and now on to the junior class. Shane Gostisbehere, assistant captain. First one from that class. And he'll hand it off to the winning goaltender. Ken Dryden award winner this year. Huge in the first period, Colin Stevens. Oh, he, he had a great season. He had a great weekend. So Union will celebrate. Their fans haven't left the building. They'll salute each and every player who has an opportunity to hoist the White Law Cup, including junior Max Novak. Congratulations to Union College, the 2014 ECAC Hockey Champions. They have done it again, three in a row for Union. We thank you for being with us all weekend long here in Lake Placid. It's been our pleasure to bring you the 2014 ECAC Hockey Championship. For Cap Raider, Sonny Watchers and our crew, I'm Eric Free. So long from Lake Placid.